Hello! My name is Kat, and this is my February book haul. So this month, February, I got six new books, and they were all February releases, except for one of them, which came out at the end of January. And I will just start with that one for reasons. So first up, I have Prodigy by Marie Lu, and this book came out on January 29th, I think it was, and this is the sequel to Legend. I actually have already read both Legend and Prodigy. Uh, book 3 doesn't come out until 2014, so I am just eagerly, painfully waiting for that one. So you guys probably know by now that I have a thing where I want all of my book covers to match, and you know, when they change the covers it's super enraging, and like, why? 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 But, I want to know how you guys feel about little differences in covers, like between Legend and Prodigy. Um, we have kind of a shiny cover going on here, and more of a matte cover going on here. Prodigy also has the decal edge where it's like the rough page edges. There are some slight differences, but you know, obviously the covers still match and go together, and I'm wondering how you guys feel about the little cover changes. I personally don't mind uh, these little cover differences. It's not enough to enrage me. Obviously, I would love it if they matched exactly, but this sort of thing doesn't really bother me. But I'm wondering what you guys think. What are your thoughts on slight cover differences? That they still kind of match, but they're a little bit different. Feelings? So out of these six books that I'm showing you guys today, I have already finished two of them. The first one was Prodigy, which I just showed you. And the second book I have already finished is Mind Games by Kirsten White. If you take off the dust jacket, you have a pretty little design on the hardcover itself. I love it when they do that. This is the first book in a new series, or at least there will be one sequel. I'm not sure if there will be more books after that or not. It hasn't been, you know, announced for the public's knowledge yet, so I don't know. But this book was really good. You know, it's a little bit short, it's less than 250 pages, so it's not a huge book, and it has kind of an interesting narration style in that there are two points of views and two timelines. So we have these kind of four separate threads that are all woven together into one story. I believe the second book will be out early next year, and we actually should be getting a cover and title announcement somewhere on the interwebs soon. Next up, I have Scarlet by Marissa Meyer, and this is the sequel to Cinder, which came out last year, and it's book two in the Lunar Chronicles, which is going to be a four-book series. I loved Cinder, it was so good, and I am loving this one so far. I'm only like 120 pages in so far, but I'm really enjoying it, and I love how it's not a direct sequel, but, you know, we're introduced to this new character, Scarlet, and her story, which is kind of a retelling of Little Red Riding Hood, but we still get to see Cinder and a continuation of Cinder's story, and they're kind of woven together, and I'm just loving this so far. I'm probably going to finish this one tonight. Um, I might have to procrastinate my homework a little bit, but hey, you gotta do what you gotta do, and I gotta do it. Gotta. So those were the first three books. The next three books I am showing you are all um, novels that were on my most anticipated of 2013 list. I actually think Mind Games was part of that list as well. February was just a great month for book releases. So much good stuff came out. I didn't even get all of the books I wanted because I'm trying to not go overboard with the book buying. I got six books, they were the ones I wanted the most, and maybe I'll pick up a few more February releases come March. But let's finish talking about February, shall we? The next book that I got this month was Perfect Scoundrels by Ali Carter, and this is the third book in the High Society series. I believe it is um, an open-ended series, so it's not like only three books or only four books. I think we're getting another book, but I'm not 100% sure, so don't, like, hold me to that. I really love this series. It has a great cast of characters, and, you know, the main character's name is Kat, so bonus points for that! Next up, I have Pivot Point by Casey West, 
and this is a 2013 young adult debut novel. And I picked up this book because it had a really great premise. It's about a girl who, when she is faced with a decision, she can search into the future and kind of see both possible outcomes and make a decision based off of what she sees in the future. And in this book, her decision is that her parents are getting divorced and she has to choose to either live with her mother in the paranormal community that she has grown up in or to move in with her father who is leaving the paranormal community to go live with the normal people. So yeah, awesome sounding premise, first book in a trilogy, maybe, probably, possibly, I don't know. But I'm just guessing trilogy because let's be real, that's a safe bet. And finally, I have Etiquette and Espionage by Gail Carriger. Now, this is not Gail Carriger's first book, but it is her first young adult novel. She has written an adult fantasy series set in Victorian times, and now she is releasing a young adult series. And this series, or trilogy, if that's what it is, I'm not sure, but this is book the first. This book is set in a boarding school in which the young ladies learn proper etiquette but also proper espionage. So yeah, Victorian boarding school, etiquette and espionage, all good stuff. Alright, those are all of the books I wanted to show you guys today. I am still on my somewhat book buying ban in which I'm only allowed to buy a book for every book I have finished. This month I have purchased six books and I have already read six books and I'm halfway through my seventh book, not halfway through. I'm like a third of the way through Scarlet, which is my seventh book this month. So I am keeping on track with my reading challenge and my book buying habits are under control and things are good in the world of books and reading and having books. Look at my books, books. And my goal this month is actually eight books, which means I will have read more books than I purchased this month, which means my TBR pile will shrink ever so slightly, which is good! Yeah, good. Thank you so much for watching this video. I will try to get better at vlogging and have a new video up sooner rather than later, but you know, no promises. I hope you guys have a lovely evening and I will have a new video up soon-ish. Bye!